The Elwood Police Department is upgrading its police cruisers to try and prevent a tragedy like the one they experienced last year. Back in July, Officer Noah Shanavaz was shot to death while sitting in his patrol car during a traffic stop. Fox 59's Max Lewis shows us what the department is doing to better protect its officers. Elwood Police Officer Noah Shanavez didn't stand a chance when investigators say Carl Boards II shot at him 36 times. When he was killed, he was sitting in his patrol car, his gun still in his holster. He had no time to react. Noah was always looking to help others. If we can do anything for him to honor him, it is to, to better develop ourselves, our safety, and better serve the community. That's why the police department is outfitting all of its patrol vehicles with bulletproof windshields. It's about four times as thick as a typical windshield, and Elwood police saw it tested right in front of them. They fired multiple rounds, which included 9mm, 40 caliber, 45 caliber, and 357 Magnum, and none of them, there was approximately 20 rounds shot total, and not one of them penetrated. Chief Jason Brizendine also purchased a handheld ballistic shield for every officer that they can quickly grab during a hostile situation. We're trying to really be focused on the future and any safety that we can give to our officers, we're going to do it. Both new layers of protection designed to give officers time to react, something Officer Shanavez didn't have. That extra time, I mean, is a huge confidence boost as far as being in that seat and not feeling as vulnerable. The chief said he hopes these upgrades also give the officer's families a little more peace of mind. He hates to think what happened to Officer Shanavez could happen again, and he hopes these measures will ensure it never does. It is a sad state, but unfortunately, you know, we have to be realistic about everything that's going on, and that's why we're taking all these measures to hopefully prevent anything like this from ever happening again. In Elwood, Max Lewis, Fox 59 News. Elwood police officers also say all of its vehicles should have the windshields installed, these new ones, by next week. Meanwhile, the trial for the man accused of killing Officer Shanavez is expected to happen sometime next year. The prosecutor is seeking the death penalty.